ML127. I'm a street artist, a writer, and co-founder of the arts group known as Creature. Lockdown for me was good. I probably put more work out on the street since lockdown happened than in the entire two years previous. All this work is going to go up on the street or in woodland at some point. Uh, it's just resting here until I get a chance to put it up. Bubblegum Print Studio. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. So lockdown had quite a big effect on my creativity. Um, I did a lot of just design stuff beforehand, but it really gave me a chance to work on my skills as an illustrator, which I've really, really enjoyed. I got to practice some different styles and techniques, and I kind of found what I actually really love and the style that I just can't stop drawing in now. I was just trying to portray self-care and positivity like it's something that needed to be practiced during lockdown because obviously being locked up can affect mental health a lot. methods people have used to express themselves it's really fantastic uh, how they've been able to do that you know and the imagination that's involved in it it's really fantastic Fun show is really great in there. Um, lots of different things to look at um, and different perspectives from many different people. I particularly liked that there were um, a range of things from different ages, so children, adults, and then older generations. 
Yeah, I'd agree with her what she's saying. Um, I like the way that there is. Um, you couldn't really tell um, that some of them were children unless you read the description or seen some of their names on some of their work. But it was really nice to see um, a different range of work in there and um, how people seen life in the pandemic. So everyone, some people in there have shown like the beauty through this pandemic that they were able to develop some really good artwork and other people are reflecting their emotion through it. So it all depends on the pieces in there and how you take your approach on it and what you're drawn to more. I was more drawn to the beauty of some of the work that people have presented that weren't necessarily um, showing the negative side of the pandemic but more the positive side and how they embraced this time that they had off work to, to make some art. How different artists uh, you know, interpreted their own kind of feelings and put that down and expressed that on paper. And it was very different in a lot of cases. Some of them were, you know, you know quite a simple, strong message and stuff like face masks and, and this kind of thing. And other ones were a lot more expressive in different ways.